Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's play the burn the bird the bird the bird. Okay, we are going to random the shit out of this, and we are going to play as Isaac apparently because random is heavily weighted towards him based on my. Oh. Okay, everyone, shut the fuck up. This is going to be serious. No, no. Oh, okay. We at least didn't get hit by that one. I thought we would get all of them at once, though. Just one more well placed. Okay, there we go. Managed to make it out of there. Okay. Yeah, and we are just continuing our quest, basically. This is a very casual level. I oh, I thought that was gonna kill the flies. Um, very casual level Isaac play. Basically, we're just trying to get to the Platinum God achievement, which requires us to get, you know, somewhere along the lines of ten more items. Hopefully, we'll, we'll come across those somewhat randomly in our travels. We're gonna be fighting the Widow first, and if you're wondering, hey, douchebag, why didn't you go to the treasure room before you fought the first boss? Could have made your life ten times easier. What if you got like a fire in my laser or something? That would have been great. Well, smart ass. Uh, I'm doing it this way because this way I can reroll the first boss item and still possibly be able to reroll the first treasure room, depending on how many rooms are left over. You know, this isn't my first rodeo with Isaac. I understand. Simple probability for the most part. I can't believe I got hit there. It is making the Widow probably more of a difficult boss than it should be right now, but since the nerf, the Widow is not that scary anyway. I take a little bit of damage, so what? Now we're back to full health. Big flippin' deal. So we got quad spiders. The quad spiders are now deceased. We got a health upgrade. I'm not gonna reroll that. I will instead make my way to the treasure room. And it turns out the rerolling thing was not even necessary, but it still, I think it was, it was smart practice. It was good prudence. We will shoot all this poop for the potential of money or keys or, you know, just making the room not smell so damn stinky anymore. And we'll move on here. I assume this is going to be basically the end. We get a spirit heart in here, which is awesome. And then we'll get a free bomb as well. Also good. And our treasure room has chemical peel. Not going to reroll that either. We'll just head down to the next floor. So chemical peel is a weird kind of damage up. It gives you like extra damage on half of your shots and normal damage on the other half. But still, half of the damage up beats, you know, what we could possibly get potentially by rerolling it. I never reroll damage upgrades unless I desperately, desperately need some health or something else. So for now, uh, pretty happy with those items that we got on the first floor. Pretty unhappy with the fact that I took damage there, but that was my own fault, so I got no one to blame but myself. Spider-Man stopped spawning so many spiders! God, this nub is such a dick sometimes. Yeah, we got some money, we lost half a spirit heart. Big freaking deal. We do have a key, which has been kind of a, a prized commodity lately. You know, keys have been hard to come by, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe Gabe Newell has taken all the keys in the video game universe to fund his Team Fortress 2 economy. You guys hear that Valve hired a, a, an economist. I'm not sure if it's for Dota 2 or if it's for just the virtual economies in general. Uh, but yeah, Valve has hired an economist to kind of supervise and you know look over those virtual economies that they got running in Team Fortress 2 and now the, uh, the Dota 2 virtual store as well. Pretty neat. I'm gonna play, place a bomb here. Spider, don't move it. Thank you. Wanted to get to this chest. Chest contains nothing of value, but we did pick up a key as well. Shop is not viable right now by any stretch of the imagination. We'll continue shooting the poop, getting some money here whenever possible. It's a bad room. No, not making any bones about that. Okay, now we got some space cleared out. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's do some big loops, give ourselves some space. Do some tight loops, give ourselves some space on the outside. Here we go, okay. We'll fight the boss right away again. Same D6 related reason. Now I should be able to take out Pin fairly easily. Chemical Peel will will make it quick. Make quick work of Pin, I should say. Not as quick as it could possibly be, but you know. Also not as bad as it could possibly be. The thing with Pin is that I can do like half damage to it. But if one of those green bombs that it fires hits itself, which is something that happens fairly frequently, uh, Pin will kill itself, like 40% of its health will go down from one of those. All we need is one lucky hit right here. Nope, no such luck. But again, this is basically over. Well, no, basically. This is over now. Let's talk to Satan first. What do you got for me? Satan, Mom's Knife for one. That's a pretty damn good deal. Uh, and let's come back here and re-roll this Cat of Nine Tails then. We get a range plus a tears upgrade. Uh, I think both of those were worthless. Probably, quite frankly, should have saved my uh, 
re-roll, or like, saved picking up the item until I got another re-roll. But hey, we got Mom's Knife. I think that makes Chemical Peel largely worthless, but getting Mom's Knife on the second floor is obviously a huge bonus. And hopefully we can get revenge for that terrible loss that I suffered as Blue Baby in the last video. Not terrible loss, I mean, I, I did kill the final boss if we're, if we're getting technical. Which is the only way I like to get. Let's see what we got in our treasure room here. The bean, that is reroll worthy. We got Celtic Cross. I believe Celtic Cross, every time you get hit, it gives you, uh, like, protection. It gives you a shield for a little while. Celtic Cross was probably, if you look back at I think it's episode 193, it's called Celtic Cross. Uh, it, it was the item that, like, single-handedly -handed, allowed me to uh, complete that run. So Celtic Cross, I have a fondness for in my heart. What would we be looking for now? We want to fly. That's what we need. Uh, and apart from flying, I would also love just more health. One of the two. I think everything else is kind of falling into place right now. Of course, you know, the, the alternative is uh, an item that allows us to replenish our health. Let me think of what would be great there that's not Book of Revelations, because that's too easy. Uh, if we fought little... if we fought Chad on this floor, that would be okay with me. We could get a little Chad and probably be okay from a health perspective. Uh, if we got a trinket like Bloody Penny, that would be fine as well, probably. I would be into either of those. That was a really good Mom's Knife right there, if I do say so myself. We got the shears! I'm gonna reroll it. I'm gonna take the speed upgrade. That was that was a Shears is a great item, don't get me wrong. I wanted to hold on to the D6 for a little bit longer though. I could reroll speedball again, but you know speed plus mom's knife is a good combination. Shears just charges too goddamn slow. I would have to get the battery in order to uh, make Shears the effectiveness of it. Perfect. I mean, it, it does seem kind of hypocritical though, because I was just like, man, you know what would be awesome? An item that allows you to fly, and then I got an item that allows you to fly, uh, and I kind of bypassed it, but... Or not only, they actively got rid of it, but that's okay. Maybe that was a bad decision, but I think it's I th it's alright. I mean, the other justification I could quite easily provide is that I want to... Uh, uh, maximize my chance of getting... Items that I haven't had before, so I can work towards that Platinum God achievement. Now here is a, is a flying item that is uh, a spacebar item as well, which I will absolutely take. I will not re-roll this one. So it turns out... Oh, that was bad. Uh, it turns out that decision is going to, I think, work out for the best for me. So we'll take this right here. Leave the D6. Sorry about that. Now we can fly. We have Mom's Knife, and we are only on the third floor of the game. I have a good feeling about our chances right now. Don't try to hit me with your damn bomb, you asshole. I'm just a nice guy riding his pony over here. So I have a feeling that we are probably going to succeed on this run. But it all comes down to, I guess now the only thing I could re uh, <laughs> really complain about is, is health. I need some way of replenishing my health. Gish, that's a good pickup. That's going to give me a little bit more uh, crowd control. And of course the ability to slow bosses is always effective. Just make sure I'm not... In the crossfire here, we do need a heart drop to get ourselves back to full health, but that's going to come presumably sooner rather than later. Those are things that are normally not too much of a problem. Uh, I could go to the boss room here. Okay, first off, let's get some pills, see what these do. Telepills moved me not very far. I'm hoping the other one is not bad trip. If, if please, not bad trip. What do we got? Full health, okay, that's good. That's gonna make it impossible for us to go to the boss room. The boss trap room, I should say. Oh well, there we go. Celtic Cross is proct. I'm still not sure of the 100% the of the mechanics of, of Celtic Cross, but I understand more or less what it does. I haven't been dodging so hot with the pony. I wish we could still fly into these rooms, man. Those were the days back when in the Binding of Isaac you could just fly into the boss room, take the item, which was usually like a health up or a damage up, and then immediately fly out. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Alright, so I'm gonna try to avoid the chain reaction here. There we go, we got some money, we're back to full health. We're gonna have the boss room fairly shortly, I mean, presumably. Unless I'm missing something here. Doing well on money, could possibly uh, be able to go to the shop on this floor, which would be cool. I would really just want passives, because obviously I want to hold on to the pony. Uh, the one exception to that would be if I could somehow get a, uh, uh, like a passive flying upgrade, then I would get rid of the pony and pick up some other spacebar item at a later date. To be named later. So we do have a tinted rock here. 
I really want this Tinted Rock to contain a Nickel, but Spirit Hearts would be okay too. Okay, it has a Golden Chest. The Golden Chest has almost enough money to make the shop totally viable. Maybe the Blighted Ovum will hook us up here. Well, that was easy. Now, there is... Oh, there's no self-sacrifice room on this, this floor. What's up with that? Because I was going to like hurt myself and then go to the boss room. I guess I could do that with bombs, but that's going to cost me a lot. And it's risky. So instead, we'll just move on. Curse of Darkness on the Depths Part 1. One cent means the shop is viable. One cent. All we need. And we're kind of speedrunning the game right now. Ten minutes in on the Depths Part 1 is pretty damn fast. Thank God I took that speed upgrade. Now, these guys, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to beat the game in two minutes here. But if I was able to pick up the shovel or something, I suppose it's a possibility. Although, I'd probably want to not use the shovel. I would want the health instead. Or the, the possibility of getting health upgrades is what I meant to say there. It was probably a bit of a confusing sentence. There's our scent. Shop's worthwhile. What would I even want from the shop? I would want a... Greed. Nope. Okay. <laughs> kind of thought maybe we'd get it. Pick up a spirit heart. That's fine. Key for a spirit heart is an okay trade in my book. Especially when my health is not superb right now. It's alright, but it's not superb. And, you know, we'll save the rest of our money and hopefully use that to buy a better item on a future floor. Gish doesn't do very much damage, does it? There we go. Back to 13 cents. Still have not been to the treasure room on this. Get the TNT, a big dungo! There we go. Okay, well, we got another spirit heart, which is good because we lost the one that I purchased. Got a treasure room, which means that the boss room is probably not in this direction, as evidenced by the fact that we are at a dead end right now. We got technology 2, in conjunction with Mom's knife. That seems, like, incredibly overpowered. But we'll stick with it, because that's fantastic. Possibly the most powerful run I've had in a long time, although I feel like I say that fairly frequently. There we go, we're up to 15 cents again. Plenty of bombs. What's up, buddy? I want a trinket. I'll play this until I get a trinket. It's gonna ruin my speed run, but I'm okay with that. Pinky Eye. Yeah, why not? That gives us some poison damage. Let's play until we get to 10 cents. More spirit hearts wouldn't be bad either. Two of hearts is good. I can use that at some point. Maybe on a blood bank, get an extra health upgrade. There's our 10 cents. Cool, we exploded. Gave us a little bit of money back. I would say that we got our money's worth there. I think everyone's happy with that. Kind of struggling, because I'm like holding the button down to fire technology too. But I also want to release it occasionally to fire Mom's knife. But I think this is one of the most like overpowered combinations I could possibly imagine right now. Yeah, why not? We can afford to do this. Oh no. Uh, I definitely want to get that two of hearts card, so I'm not just going to abandon this room. There we go. And more health that I can't possibly use right now. What do we got here? Ooh, this is going to be weird. I've already got Gish. I wonder if this will just... How did I get hit by that fly? I wonder if this will just give me zero treasure. That can't happen, right? Anyway, that fly was nearly impossible to kill. Gish itself is going to be fairly damned easy to kill, though. Very interested to see what happens here from a treasure perspective. Hell of a shot from Gish there. Alright, so we got the last Gish to kill. We get Magic 8-Ball, which is Tears Upgrade. Also gives us a world card. I would probably... Uh, you know what? Let's get Rage here. I know I, I always say that I need more health, but... Who dares wins, right? I'm going to keep the two of hearts. Actually, no. I'm now, now that I don't have very much health, I'm going to keep the world card. And I'll use that to find the secret room on the next floor. Or, you know, save it for, like, the, the cathedral or something. Very weird set of items here. I'm immediately starting to regret the decision that I made with respect to Rage, but hopefully it doesn't end up being a deal breaker. Again, get some arcades or something. It doubles our tears, not really that useful. Um, you know, we go to an arcade or something, pick up some health upgrades, it's all gravy. There's another ability to fly, so I can't get rid of the pony. And we get an Eternal Heart as well, which is cool. Uh, although I'll probably lose that, almost certainly lose that, before going down to the next floor. Almost certainly. I thought that was going to be it right there. Does Technology 2 not do damage when you have Mom's Knife? It doesn't seem like it does. That was terrible. There goes my Spirit Heart, but I still have the Eternal Heart, which is actually, you know, arguably more important right now. Cool. We're alive. 
Move ourselves onwards. We have the boss room. So... There goes our eternal heart. So tempting. And now so possible. I seriously think Technology 2 might not do anything. If you also have Mom's Heart and Congestion. I gotta be very careful because I don't want this run to end. If this run ended 15 minutes in, there's some something seriously wrong. So we might want to go to the boss room. Oh, man. Uh, let's see what the boss room has first. HP upgrade is worth taking. Now I can kind of take this boss fight with clear conscience. Uh, knowing that I'm not going to get myself killed here. Even if I do take some damage, it's fine. I can replenish my health when I leave. I think Technology 2 doesn't do any damage when you have Mom's Knife in conjunction with it, which is pretty shitty, actually. It would be fantastic if that worked. It would be overpowered if it worked, but it would be fantastic. There's no arguing that, I think. Peep is going to be remarkably easy to kill, I feel. Especially with the slowing effect from Gish, making it easier for me to dodge those shots. Like so. There we go, now we can leave. And replenish our health a little bit, which is awesome. And remember, I can lose the pony now, if I see fit. Because fate will give us the ability to fly. That didn't kill it. I find that hard to believe. Push pin. Not really that interesting to me at this point. I mean, I'm not sure if it's better than pinky eye or not. Uh, first off, treasure room. That's a new item. Crack the sky. I don't know what it does. Let's find out on this room. No, not this room. Okay, you know, let's play this for a little bit. I could use some more. I could use a better trinket. I could use some more spirit hearts. One more and I'll blow it up. Alright, uh, you know, apparently that threat works. So I have no idea, is that like a Mastodon reference, Crack the Sky? I think it might be. Okay, let's see what it does. Raise from Heaven, okay, so it's basically like White Pony, only without the flying aspect, which is fine, I mean, that's, a, that's an alright effect to have. We got here, this pill, health up. Bombs are key, Hey, don't know how I feel about that. Uh, it takes six rooms to recharge, so it's not great. But it's okay. Um, like I said, it, it beats the black pony item, at least. Which is really all I needed it to do, because I also had the ability to fly. But if I didn't have the ability to fly, I would want to keep the, uh, the pony for sure. If I didn't have flying redundancy, we'll say, I would want to keep the pony. I just want to, yes, turn you into a bomb fly. Thank you. Easy enough. We got Child's Heart. That is actually something awesome. That is going to cause more heart drops for us, I believe. Always a good, well, not always a good thing, but it, you know, it's a good thing when you're not playing as Blue Baby. And it's a good thing when you kind of desperately need more health. It's too bad we didn't get a little earlier on this floor. We could have had the possibility to go to the arcade and make the blood bank work for us. Oh, well. Instead, we will... Check out the shop. I was kind of hoping we'd find greed, because greed equals money. And extra money for us is alright. Maybe it doesn't mean money. We got another world card, cool. Well, we might as well use this one to find the secret room. We got the steam sale, which means we can buy more stuff. And we'll pick up this world card. I guess you can't bomb your way into there, which is weird. We'll bomb our way in from the boss room, I guess. Oh, we got, we got mom! I forgot about that, okay. So I'm gonna wait to use my, uh... My, uh... Like, crack the sky card. Until a little bit later. We do get a treasure from this fight, right? I always forget about that. I know it pisses people off. Mom's almost dead, by the way. Mom is dead. Cool beans for us. Extra health. Very welcome to this point. Can we bomb our way up? Nope. Alright, I've made a huge mistake. Oh well. Down to the next floor with, with health and, and damage coming out of our ass, basically. Utero, ro Utero 1, I can't even say it right. Utero 1 is probably not worth using uh, the world card on. Save that for like a Utero 2. Or, you know, perhaps a... I didn't even use my Crack the Sky card in that fight. Um, save it for a Utero 2 or perhaps, you know, Cathedral type situation. So the Steam Sales is worthless. That was not a good item from Greed. <laughs> I forgot we were so far into the game so quickly. Judgment could be awesome here. Wouldn't mind losing this Crack the Sky card for something else. Mulligan, with Technology 2, uh, I'm not sure if it's even going to work because Technology 2 doesn't appear to be doing any damage. But if it does, uh, you know, classic com- that was bad. Classic combination. He 
These are tough mob trap rooms. I guess it doesn't work. Man, it's so shitty that Technology 2 doesn't work in conjunction with Mom's Knife. Could have been the most out overpowered run in history. You were the chosen one! You were meant to destroy the game, not glitch it! Or maybe it's just doing so much damage that it, it doesn't show up, you know? That's wishful thinking. Well, hopefully more bombs here. More money. That's alright, I guess. We can use that for absolutely nothing in the future. Mulligan is still gonna be alright. I don't want that. I want the world card. Uh, Mulligan is still gonna be alright in combination with uh, Mom's Knife, of course. That's terrible dodging. Uh, we should be able to do some pretty sizable amounts of damage. Is my guess. You know, generate a certain amount of flies, especially on uh, bosses. But we're never gonna get like a, a posse of flies flying around us. Which is what I prefer. Yeah, there's another spirit heart for us. Excellent, I hate this room. Let's immediately use our beams from heaven. Managed to kill one. Excellent, it did take some damage from a grandfather fly, of all things. One more hit, one more hit. Just make him, make him bleed. Oh my god, I can't believe I got hit again. Alright, well, maybe we're not gonna win this time. But if nothing else, this has been the fastest run that I've had in a long time. Hearts I can't use. I guess the bonus is we have a ton of hearts from Child's Heart. Use a bomb here, see if... Oh, maybe we get lucky, get a spirit heart in there. But yeah, dodge all the way around here. Pick up some good stuff. And by good stuff, pick up good stuff, I mean kill fetuses, which is, you know, what I always mean. I pick up some good stuff. Hey, could you pick me up some good stuff at the grocery store? You're sick, Ryan. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me again. Stay away from my family. Okay, we're gonna fly you to the moon here. Um, we should be able to play this blood bank a couple of times. At least a few. Oh, now I've got Celtic. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I had Celtic Cross, so I could, like, I, I was immune, but then it dropped the IV bag, which I don't want at all, because it's garbage. So, uh, instead, we'll move onwards here. That's shitty. We'll pick up all the remaining health, of course. Luckily, I didn't play it too many more times, because I would have probably overstayed my, uh, my welcome there. But, you know, let's, let's go to the right. I mean, we've gone to the left to a certain extent. We haven't found the boss room yet. Maybe the right has, has more treasures in store for us. Gotta remember, like, I'm basically just using Mom's Knife. Basically just using Mom's Knife here, because Technology 2 apparently does nothing, which is, yeah, I'm still kind of sore about. Lost a little bit of health on that room. We got Diglett and Monster Spiders. But not a problem. One remaining Diglett. No health. That's a shame. And of course, um, my decision to go right has been met with dismay. My own dismay. There we go. Back to full health. We got bombs. We can make some moves. Um, let's take up left. Like, left and up. Maybe I should have used the, the world card on this floor. But I can't complain. Still got full health. I guess there is more health that I missed as well. This is almost worth beams from heaven, because I hate this dude. This guy is like harder than most bosses to me. Look at this, like I can't... I don't know how to dodge him. I guess I'll just, I'll just hang out on top of this rock and he won't be able to do anything to me, presumably. But like, I find that guy such a pain in the ass. He's got incredible speed. He's the fastest kid alive. There we go, we killed him. Inevitably we'll run into him on like every single floor that we come across. Probably should not have picked up that eternal heart if we're being honest, but it's all good. I'll just try not to take damage for the rest of the floor here. That seems likely. It actually might not be that unlikely. It'd be nice if I could hit these brain dudes. Oh, we got the world card and we have another card on the ground which is... The devil. Okay, we'll use the devil card on this boss. Conquest, as usual. What do you expect, right? So there we go. Race from heaven. Use the devil card. Slow him. Slow him and stop him from doing his beams from heaven attack. Okay, that was good dodging. 
I think we can take him out. I really just want to live long enough. Okay, the Eternal Heart's gonna work. Okay, first off, Satan, what do you want? Razor Blade? No. No. No, no, no. I guess there we go. We completed the heart regardless. Do I want white? Like, the white pony is better, isn't it? Because I can... I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, it's like exactly the same as the card I have right now. I think it charges exactly the same as well, so we'll just stick with what we got. Why, you know, why take more than you need? I already have one flying item. If only Technology 2 works. Is this Envy or Super Envy? He seems pretty big for a regular Envy. I'm not even sure what the difference is between Super Envy and Envy. I think Super Envy might split into three instead of two. Fly is actually doing work here. Underrated. I think I say that every time. Probably widely considered to be one of the best items in the game. Eh, you know, Mulligan's pretty underrated. But anyway, we're basically through this Envy fight, which is cool extra health that I can actually use. Thanks for bringing that closer to me. Troll Bomb. We got Fistula. I took some damage there, apparently. Everything happened too fast for me to understand what was going on. That's alright. Health is still alright. Child's Heart should drop some health. So I'll be able to live long enough to at least get to the Mom boss fight. And of course, even if I lose in this episode, keep in mind... That was stupid as hell. Uh, that... There we go. I didn't realize I could just force him through those rocks. Keep in mind that I did at least get one new item. So we're making progress. Bombs are key. Yes. Definitely worth using that to give us some more bombs here. Directly ahead of the Mom boss fight. Okay, laser's gone. Which means our main concern is alleviated here. Perfect. Okay, uh, I feel safe enough to go into this fight with only three hearts. I just won't get hit three times. Easier said than done, but we're gonna make it happen. Perfect, okay, we'll just continue hammering away with Mom's knife here. Really can't afford to take stupid damages. Where did that silkworm go? And come from. Uh, just really can't afford to take stupid damage. Need all this damage for smart damage. Thank you, Gish, for actually coming to my aid there. Dropping that bomb exactly where it needed to go. Thanks for doing it again. I, I, I am going to use my laser attack, of course. Or my, my beams from heaven attack. But I want to wait until Mom's heart is firing bombs, or firing uh, continuously, in order to maximize the, the damage that it does, and kind of like alleviate some of the concerns I might have when we get to that point in the fight. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, none of those at all will hit exactly what I was hoping for. Mom's heart is going to die. I did take a little damage. Oh well, there's an eternal heart. So we'll go up to the next floor with, you know, three out of six hearts filled. If only. Oh, man, the world card isn't even going to work on this floor. Oh shit, okay. Well, we'll just have to make it work. You know, the bonus here is that maybe we'll get more health on our way to the boss. Or maybe we'll play the slot machine and see if we can get some more health. Hey, there's a start. I can sit here all day. Actually, I can only sit here for about probably like 10 more seconds. Maybe more like 30 seconds. This takes a while to play. So far, so good. I mean, that's... You have now given me one hit against an enemy. Let's keep this up. Thanks for the pill. I don't know what it does. Let's try it. Awesome. <laughs> so let's keep playing the slot machine. I still feel like we're, we're maybe 50-50 right now. Maybe 40-60 on the, on the side of winning. So like I think we're more likely to lose than win. That blue baby fight. People find it easy. I find it exceptionally difficult for whatever reason. Well, we're getting ready to blow this slot machine up unless it pays out pretty darn soon. It's got two cents left. Never mind, it's got 12 cents left. Game trolls the shit out of me every single time. Okay, well, I got about another 30 seconds worth of slot machine endurance left in me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on. I don't want the money, I'm just gonna put the money back inside of you. Pro tip don't use that as dirty talk when you are talking to your loved ones. My loved ones, I mean, of course, someone that you have intercourse with, not your mom, because that will be super creepy. Um, okay, we're down to seven cents. Hopefully we can finish this one up sooner rather than later. There we go. That was actually worth the wait. Please. 
Just don't give me another dime. I don't care if you don't pay out, just don't give me any more reason to stand at the slot machine for any longer. Got two cents left. No dimes, no dimes. Okay, we got two cents from that. Awesome. We may actually get the full health as a result of this slot machine, in which case, come on. In which case, it's been very good to me, if a little bit trollish. So we're down to, down to zero. Cool, we can finally blow this up. We have good conscience knowing we've done due diligence. Fantastic. We're back to full health. And we have a tinted rock on this floor. On this room, I should say. Just taking my time. I'm just moving on. You guys might forget about me after I've been gone for a while. Um, okay, let's blow up this tinted rock. Unlimited keys on this floor, something that probably will not come in handy that much. Just got one more good mom's knife shot will be enough. There we go. That worked itself out. It was a little tight, but, you know, that, that's a good thing sometimes. Death should be easy. Oh, man. Remember that we have rage, so assuming that stacks with mom's knife, you know, the more minions we're able to kill in a room, the better it is for our damage overall. Should be enough to kill that dude, and then we'll just take out this guy right here. That was a terrible dodge on my part. Should just be able to... I'm trying to get it like in a drive-by here. There we go. That worked out reasonably well. We're still at full health. Double Widows. Awesome. Yeah. Do some serious damage for me. I think Celtic Cross, maybe it like charges. Like, maybe the first time you get hit, it doesn't give you a shield, but the third time it get, you get hit, it gives you a shield or something. Either way, I'm glad that it gave me a shield there, because I was getting a little low. We picked up some extra health. Child's hard enough to sneeze at. We do have another half heart that we can pick up on the, uh, the room with the slot machine in it. So that'll take us nearly to full health. I'm just trying to remember how to navigate my way through this damn cathedral right, right now. Uh, yeah, there's the slot machine room, I suppose. So we'll go to the left now. Never been here. Okay. I have, like, notorious problems with these blue spiky things. Okay, they've worked themselves out. I can't get to that red heart. It's not even worth the, the effort, because I'll... Like, 90% odds I'm going to get hit. I'm just going to keep flying around here. If I can take out one of them, life becomes easier. Two of them, obviously life becomes a joke. You are deceased. Give me something good here. That's exactly what I was hoping for, actually. Here's why. We'll take that. This room. Double troll bombs, don't hit me. Okay, now we leave. And now we pick up full health. Okay, so we didn't lose anything as a result of that. We didn't gain anything, certainly, but... We didn't lose anything either, so it's okay. Move upwards here. Is this dick face again? Hate the shit out of this dude. Good thing is, uh, Gish seems to, oh, Gish seems to be a great counter to him because he like stops his movements. Yep, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, come after me. Come over this. God oh, damn it! I hate you. Get over this rock, dude. Yeah, come to Rock Town here. Oh, I'm gonna rock your body, and then parentheses it says to the break of dawn. Um, I I I just want some extra health. Like, I, I, I know I can beat Greed without getting hit. God damn it! <laughs> but I, I need some extra health before I go to fight Blue Baby. Otherwise, like, I'm, I'm guaranteed to lose. So please, just give me a chance here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Maybe we'll get a heart when we kill this Leaper. Nope. Um, fuck it. Let's give it a try. I'll just be the greatest Dodger of all time. Next to Jackie Robinson. How am I supposed to dodge that? We're, we're screwed. There we go. Raised from heaven. Did like nothing. Blue baby triumphs again. But it was close. If only Technology 2 had worked, maybe we could have made it. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.